Hi there, I'm here at Embedded World 2025 on the DigiKey booth and joining me now is Neb who is the CEO of MicroE. So Neb, thanks, thank you very much for joining us. How are you to start off with? A little bit tired. Yeah. It's been a, a lot of meetings so far. I see it's going to be a very nice fair. Yeah, definitely. And, and for, for those of our audience who perhaps aren't familiar with you and the company, can you give us an introduction? Oh, we are a development tools company. Uh, we see ourselves as a company dedicated to time saving and standardization in embedded industry. Mm -hmm. We produce a lot of, uh, we are probably well known for click boards. There is a 1,800 something click boards, different kinds. Uh, I I'm personally like numbers. So just imagine if you have, a, for example, five sockets for those click boards. With this number of the click boards, do you know how many unique combination you could make? No. It's about 120 trillions. If you spend one second for each, you need 3.6 million years to try what we have today. That's a long time. <laughs> so I, I always joking it. We are in, in the game what to do from what we can, and we are not in the game what can we do. Mm -hmm. So that's a, it's. It's a lot of engineering. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us how the company first got started, because I know we were just talking and now you ah. started out as a magazine, right? Yeah, actually the magazine is the, the biggest job you could start with the smallest amount of the money. Mm -hmm. So I started as a magazine, then uh, the, the readers of the magazine ask, you know, where we could learn more about those microcontrollers. And you know, it's about 30 years ago, yeah. 20, yeah, more, more th 30 years ago. Then we start to publish the books. Well, after they read the book, they ask, oh, where we could try what we read in the books. Then we start to make development tools. Then um, one day I was trying some compiler, which is, was not performing well. And I said, it's enough. We are making compilers. <laughs> so now we are making uh, uh, so many tools that we have one new product per day. We are a very rare company in the world. Wow. One new every day, last seven years, we have a new product. Uh, and we have a new concept like uh, multi-architectural IDE. We have a new concept like Planet Debug. We, we, we like to talk today about yeah. it. Uh, also, uh, Embedded Wiki. It's a huge portal with 1.5 million projects there, etc. So you like to keep yourself busy. You don't have that much time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that much time. No. So tell us then. You mentioned Planet Debug. So tell us, tell us what it is. Well, you know, Planet Debug is, is actually a very simple idea but it's very powerful. So, uh, you know, you could program some board, some microcontroller with a cable. You could do it wirelessly. So we are the company who make first Wi-Fi debugger in the world. Okay. And in the COVID time, everybody was going, going home. And you know, if you are a lawyer, you could work from home. But if you are an engineer, you need so many equipment, you need boards, you need everything. Yeah. So we came to an idea, Wow, why don't we put live streaming into the compiler? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's how Planet Debug idea was born. Yeah. And, and Planet Debug, you know, you could debug from any point of the planet. So, you know, it's not easy to make a good marketing. If you, if you, are, if you don't like the name, just please invent a new one and tell me. Did it take you longer to come up with the name than it did to develop the, yeah. you know, the <laughs> trust live stream? Me. <laughs> trust me, the name was really difficult to come up because, uh, you know, I. You know, it's, it's really, really hard. So, uh, back to the story. So, COVID time. So, we decide to put live streaming in compilers. So, we have the boards which have uh, code grip, which is our wireless, uh, wireless debugger. And we put camera with live streaming. All together is Planet Debug and you have it in the uh, Nectar Studio, which is our uh, IDE. Yeah. The good thing is, with one click, you connect to any of these boards anywhere in the world. I could show you later if you yeah. want. Yeah. Or, you know, I could connect to Mexico or to some, some country in Europe. Yeah. And it's, it's great. But you know what I like the most about that idea? I'm coming from the small company. It's a 100 people. So just imagine how one small company could affect that much a big number of the people. Yeah. So we are, you know, born in good countries. So just imagine if you are born in country 
which does not have DHL, <laughs> yeah. UPS, uh, yeah. uh, you don't have the money to buy uh, development tools, there is no maybe good schools, etc. So the Planet Debug could change your life. You could be educated with zero cost. Wow. That's you know, I'm proud. I'm yeah. proud to, to that uh, life-changing opportunity such a small company could give to, to many people in the world. And we need more, more and better engineers. Exactly. Are you, are you the only one currently on the market with a, with a solution like this? Well, that uh, solution we have is definitely we are the only one. Yeah. Uh, I'm very proud because, you know, it's always a kind of a thinking that engineers are not, not so much care about environment, about, you know, society, about, you know, I really care. Yeah. You know, this yeah. solution means there is no PC in this solution, only board and camera. So without the PC, first, you don't have a cost for PC. Then you don't spend energy for PC. Then you don't, don't need a system administrator because when you have a PC, then you have a virus and you have a Windows crashing okay. down, whatever. So, you know, we create this system without the PC. I'm proud of that. Yeah. So just imagine uh, how, um, how much energy we could save per week, per month, per year, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. So that's the, I'm, I'm so convinced that this is the future. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. Uh, when you buy your, your, your T-shirt, you try. When you're buying $1,000 board, you never try. <laughs> oh, where, you is the, like that. <laughs> where is the logic there? Yeah. You know, so I try everything when I buy. Yeah. So I want to, to, uh, to, have a, uh, to give a people choice. Try. Try a lot of things and then decide what you want to buy, when, etc. Can you, can you walk us through how easy it is to, to set up and use Planet Debug? You know, is it simple, I, I presume? So you just install Nectar Studio. Yeah. You go, you go with the with the icon with with eye, it's shape of the eye. Yeah. Select any of the boards there. <laughs> there is a button called Go. <laughs> so and that's it. You are connected. Yeah. So you want to program to debug to fetch data. You know, you know the, how the cloud look like, and you know there is a lot of discussion about cloud data, blah blah blah. Yeah. We could make a cloud with one line of the code. You just put plot there in the code and your data is just selecting to Nectar Studio and you fetch it mm. and do it as much as you want. Yeah. You know, whole day, one hour, three <laughs> hours, it's, it's up to you. Um, so for, from what you've said, I, I gather this is aimed at both experienced engineers as well as student engineers as well? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's ideal for two types. Yeah. Design services or companies who design something and educational institution. Yeah. Because when you when you do design service, there is a one guy from Poland working for you, one from Argentina, another guy from Bangalore in India. And if you send to all of them everything, always something is missing. And those guys are mostly paid to wait. Yes. In this case they don't wait anything. Just and you could you could do 24/7, you know, you could really work on one setup. What if the setup cost uh, uh, 200,000 euros? Do you really want to send to all three guys uh, no. such a setups? Yeah. So uh, just and then uh, uh, just imagine you are the company who develop for a long time something, and you have a, uh, uh, employees on all all time zones. You know, just imagine all uh, you know, and uh, probably students will not like me too much because the Planet Debugs knows how much time you spend <laughs> working. <laughs> well, at least so, they've got proof for so, their university yeah, professors. Well, you can't lie to professors, so I don't think we will be f famous in that field. <laughs> so what types of microcontrollers and development boards are currently available on the platform? Oh, we have almost all. So from PIC, uh, DS PIC, uh, PIC32, ARM, RISC-V, AVR, um, I'm missing two more. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. come back to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm missing two more. Fantastic. Have you got any plans to, to expand it this year or any new features being added? Well, it's, it's, uh, in the, uh, in, it's scalable. So right now, for example, we have maybe 150 boards. So just imagine a company who could have, uh, you, you know, for example, you are a silicon vendor. Yeah. You could 
uh, have thousands of these setups. And once when you finish your PR, you could say, try this silicon on setups from uh, 36 to 72 or something like that, you know. So we are entering into the uh, uh, new way of doing things. It's not only artificial intelligence. You know, everybody says only, but you know, the, 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 the shifting, everything is shifting towards more productivity uh, in shorter time. So in, if you have to uh, uh, accomplish uh, uh, such a thing, you, you have to be, you have to do things on a different way. Let's yeah, say exactly. like this. Yeah, I can yeah. tell you're very proud of it. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Good, well done. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Anything particularly exciting that you're showcasing here this week, apart from Planet Debug, obviously? Well, uh, we're also showcasing a lot of things, how you could make, uh, you know, how you could put, uh, uh, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 clicks on one project. There is also, uh, for example, how, you, how the quadcopter really look like. Yeah. You know, you always see everything is under some plastic, etc. So you could see there how it really look like. Uh, Nectar Studio is, is always uh, uh, is a always good subject. Uh, we are the only one in the world who have a daily update. Okay. Every single day we add 10 new microcontrollers in Nectar Studio. So in a few years, all of them will be there. <laughs> wow, let's hope so. Yeah. I sound Brilliant. like a from the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I know, you're very futuristic <laughs> yes. today. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not meant to sound like that. No, yeah. no you're, you're excited for the future of, of this yeah. space and it sounds yeah. like it's going in the right direction. I'm a 55 and I really enjoy to work. Yeah. I really enjoy. Yeah. Good. And I like coffee. Yes, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for speaking with me today. Thank it's been you. a real pleasure to learn more about Planet Debug. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. It's a welcome. pleasure to be here. You're welcome. Thank you.